Welcome back to Dubai, week two of this inaugural doubleheader. It's finals day, all the knockout matches coming your way in this long-awaited new season of the HSBC World Rugby Seven Series. In the women's competition, it was Australia who led the way. They've been excellent, 20 points for their gold medal. The Fijiana, what a story they have been. They take silver, France with the bronze, Russia, Great Britain and Brazil round out the top six there. Tackles have to be made here. What a skip away and over the halfway line. What a skip and a burst of acceleration to go all the way. Fernandez de Cora, the captain, is going to put Spain in front for the first time in the game. Just really doing a great job again. Chirillo got caught up in the rapture, hips turned in. And look at that. That's like a Heisman step out of the tr Beautiful. <laughs> step out of the tackle. And she is just gritting it out. There's a determined face if ever I've seen one. What a comeback, what a turnaround. And Russia on the offensive again, burning away. Canada is Christina Serendina, right from kickoff. Shutting down Canada in the fastest possible way. They can score out of nothing, especially on those restarts. Canada really needed to put that up high and right on the 10 meters so they could have challenged, could have slowed things down, then apply that defensive pressure that we saw early on into the second half. But credit there to Russia. Gets a beautiful pass onto Skirfield, and it is the Canadian cadets who show the scout leaders how it's done. Chrissy Skirfield, just 18 years old, under the sticks for the third for Canada. And that's the youngster adding her bit of impact play, but the survival through this tackle to complete that offload is really what made that tackle, that try happen. Daddy Norizina is there, another penalty. Lovely from Russia, right through the middle. The Australian defence turned to stone. And Russia get the first in the Pool A decider. Marina Kukina. Slight change of direction. Saw an opportunity, kept her feet active. Can be quite elusive to the defence and it absolutely adds the trickery that Australia can't provide an answer for. Well, the ifs and buts and all that kind of stuff. She still has the ball, though. Tapper, look at the step and check. And around the outside, Naya Tapper. 50 metres underneath the post, and that is individual magic. Well done, USA. They certainly weathered a very aggressive defence there from GB. There were two phases. They stretched to the left, they stretched to the right, and on both occasions, GB sent a flyer to try and disrupt. Handling let USA down, but they kept their composure. That's then told to get back on side. Fiji still have it. They work the open side. Look at the tackle from Grassino. Look at the strength from Grassino. Still managed to get the pass away despite the attention of the French number eight and the feet as well to take him over the 10, over halfway. It's going to be a race for the line and Fiji are going to win it. Beautiful run from Alunisau. And this might be the game winner. What a feat from Alunisau. Look at that. She caught two, two players shooting up. Third player she gets around. What a step. Wow. What a step. Incredible. And the fans delighted with that. Ball with France. Cthulhu with the switch. Wonderful from the French. And Grassino will go in for a second. And there's nothing like a little misdirected run off the line. Grassino with a brilliant read. But it's that fantastic fend that creates the opportunity here. Okimba just a baller for France.
It's gold medal time, and to take you through it is Philippa Tadiet and my favourite Irishman, Hugh Carl. Thank you very much indeed. You only know one, Dan and Stanford, but here we go then. The main and final event in the Women's Cup competition in Dubai as Australia take on Fiji in the quest for gold. Tackle goes in from Kaslik, and that was a big one. Line out, Australia. Oh, pressure, pressure, pressure from Australia. And they take it quickly, wasting no time here. Ashby is two outsider. Hans should do it here. Ashby on the outside. Out it goes. And Nathan touchdown. Australia off the mark in the final. Australia are setting the tempo, and that's the way to really get into Fijiana. Rush their decision making, put pressure on their attack. Camped in the 22 there. Fijiana could not get out. Australia looking for a second here. Here's Nathan, who scored the try. Midway through the first half. Passing the outside to Ashby. Ashby's on her own. Ashby's racing through. Ashby's going to get there. Nathan to Ashby. Australia were just cutting down their options every single time. To the point then, when they do get that turnover, they get that opportunity to attack. Fijiana have not been able to transition from attack into a defensive structure. Almost gets the pass away. Little pop up pass is a good one to Aluni Sao. Aluni Sao for Fiji. They're back in it. They are back in it. Ashby delaying the pass. Ashby with a burst and the offload on the outside. Here's Lily Dick. Has support. Lily Dick. She might not need it. Still going, Lily Dick. The chase is on together. Lily Dick for Australia. This would be an incredible try. Lily Dick is going to get there. No, she's not. Oh, my God. Ashby will. Thank God, sparing my blushes. <laughs> what a fantastic individual try. And the pull away, you can't see from that perspective, but the pull away from the three Fijianas was absolutely incredible. <laughs> Kick it dead. The final whistle sounds. Australia are champions once again in Dubai. Australia are out in front in the series table. But it looks like this then. 40 points, a 100% record for Australia. Fiji's final appearance there means they're up to 36. France, Russia, USA complete the top five, all the way down to Canada, who have improvements to come. Australia are the Dubai Sevens women's champions. They've gone back to back in the desert.